Hi, welcome to uh, the first in a couple of tips we're going to, um, or tips for uh, good usage of Sam Broadcaster that we're going to um, we're going to create. Uh, they may may seem obvious to you if you're an experienced user of Sam, but they might be also useful to you as well if you you know you're just starting out with this software. I know there are tons and tons of people out there that use this software. It's great. It's a, it's a great system. Um, whether you're running an internet radio station or whether you just play music around the house, whatever you're doing, you know, it's a it's really, really good bit of software. Right. So if you've got your playlist, let's say we add, we've, well, this is a pretty raw setup of Sam here. We've just installed this for the purposes of uh, doing this. And uh, it's we've changed the layout just because that's how we like the layout to be. But um, if we add some tracks to here, so I'll just add this one album and say, there we go, there's our entire playlist. Now that wouldn't exactly work very well because it's one artist, which means you'd be messed up from the start, really, because it would go, oh, I'm not playing him again. So it doesn't matter anyway. So here's our list of tracks, but we might say, well, I don't actually ever want to play these, but I still want to have them in my list. So rather than adding them each time, or rather than, you know, um, having to look for them each time and then add them separately, you still want them to be searched for and still want to be able to look for them if you just in case you do want to play them at any time, but you never want the system to play them. And that's, that's really easy to do, but it isn't the default setting within Sam when it comes out of the box. So what, we've, what you'll notice here, if we go to the song info, one of these tracks, just right clicking, right clicking on the track, excuse me, or alternatively just pressing Alt 3, uh, you'll notice that it is an S type, so it's a song. And uh, under here, we've got lots of different types that can you know, preset categories, basically, that can be set. And they can be set really, really simply. They're under content here on the left. And that sort of is the list of uh, categories you just saw there. So what we need to do is if we say we don't want these five to play, we can drag those into other, or you can you can choose another one, but other's a good one because it doesn't really fit any other content that might exist. So now we've got these five in other, but tracks, even if we hit refresh here, has still got everything in. So you'll notice if we go back to song info, this one is a C category, but further up and just press Alt three, this one is an S category. However, by default, Sam, if you go into the config, and then to the playlist rotation tools and into the clock wheel rotation, you'll notice that it picks one song from tracks. Now tracks is everything. It doesn't matter whether it's C. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter what it is. It will pick one from every from the whole lot. So it will include those five that you just tried to exclude. So you need to make sure you take that out of your of your of your uh, clock wheel and leave it so that at least it's music all, because music all is this here. Let me just show you. Music all is this, and that is only S categories. So if we refresh that now, you'll see that all the ones that have been removed, they're in there, and only the songs remain. So yeah, so just repeating what I've just said, it might seem really obvious, the clock wheel, has to have this tracks removed from it because otherwise it'll pick something from everything. And that's, I don't know why it's like that by default because in, you should have, you know, well, maybe it's useful for some people, but it's, I think it's a good idea because it means then if you come across a song that you've just heard played in tracks or like you think, oh God, I don't like that song. I don't, you know, really don't like it, but you don't want to delete it from your list. Just drop it into other, done. You'll never hear it again unless you, you know, even if you're in music all and you do a search, remember you do a search on Sam just by starting to type. So, you know, it's there, it still searches for it. So you can still, you can still double click it, put it in the queue, no problem, but it'll never play it unless you tell it to. That is tip number one on using Sam Broadcaster.